hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's abby crystal here with a brief fresh looking face as usual if this is your first time coming to my channel you're highly welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back as well so today's video is going to be my third edition of a bunch of pageant gist guys like seriously this edition promises to be fun don't touch that uh, keep on so guys i see a lot of your love and your comments and your engagement on my previous video i'm so so grateful i was so elated and you know i was kind of shocked because i didn't expect like when i saw the views i was like wow this is what i've been praying for this is what i've been looking for and i'm so grateful that you guys put up you know pull through for me and um i saw the love i saw the engagement i saw the comments guys i'm so grateful thank you so much thank you so much for the engagement in my previous videos and i believe that subsequently you guys are going to be engaging more and liking my content and i believe that this is just the beginning of better things to come for my channel all right so this third edition like i said promises to be fun please stay tuned all right and i'll be right back So guys, yes, I start off this video with a good news on Miss Universe Nigeria organization. Guys, like seriously, you know, in my previous video, I talked about the fact that they were, you know, they made a statement saying that we should, you know, keep our fingers crossed and keep our ears down that they're going to bring, you know, a very, very, um, you know, a, a, they're going to they're going to talk about, you know, the pageant for this year. And I was just patiently waiting for them to release a statement to that effect which they did and over before before the weekend just this friday last friday they released a statement you know saying that the registration for this year's contest is finally open guys like seriously registration for miss universe nigeria 2024 is finally open and i'm going to give you guys you know the guidelines on how you want you can go you know you can go about it for those of you that are interested in contesting for this year's pageant all right so i'll bring up the details on the screen for you guys and um registration starts on the june 1st and ends on the 30th of june all right so you have this the whole of this month to register for this contest and the process of registration like i said is on the screen you'll go to the miss universe nigeria website and follow the prompt all right so guys this year's edition like i said i was so happy that you know we're going to start off this year on the early on the on the on the early note okay despite the fact that a lot of other organizations they've crowned their representative but at least this year's pageant is coming earlier than expected all right so you believe that you, you guys know what is what's you know <laughs> the pattern for um the pageant last year it was held in september but this year i believe that's going to be held earlier than last year all right so with what i'm seeing so far i think that this month of june is going to be for the registration and all that then um we're going to have the you know the um we're going to have you know the um other details and all that which will be released by the organization very soon i believe that the screening and all that will be held after the registration okay so let's say by july uh, next month they will hold the screening and all that where they were gonna uh, where they're gonna pick the final 36 contestants all right for miss universe nigeria 2024 so guys that's how you know that's how the constitution has been you know um kind of the process on i think like last year we had um, screening i think we had about online screen we had online screening and we had the physical screening so i don't know how this year's this year's edition is going to be like okay fingers crossed let's see how they're going to uh, the screening process for this year we is going to um take place let's see how the position opts to carry out the screening for this year but i believe that it's still going to be like the online and the physical screening all right so um like i said this year's edition i i hope and believe that you know it's going to take place earlier than next last year because for the forms to be you know to be out by this time i believe that hopefully by august we should have a pageant let's just figure pick uh, fi um, and let's just um keep our fingers crossed hopefully by august will have a pageant all right so let's see how this year's edition is going to be like and um i believe that um you know if you're are uh, hoping to join this year's contest please you have the whole, whole of this month to register you know and uh, pick up a form on the miss universe nigeria website all right See a lot of comments you know about you know the uh, the 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 contestants or the persons that you know um you know, there's a lot of wish lists from a lot of commentators on their website people have been commenting that they want the pageant the past 
queens that they didn't make the court to come back and fight for the crown a lot of persons have been tagging yekachi douglas of course they've been tagging her and um, i believe that i don't know if she's going to contest this for this year if she's going to come back but she's not really made a statement to that effect let's see how it goes I also made um, a wish list on my channel where I talked about the former pageant queens that I want to see in this year's pageant. I want to see come back and fight for this crown. Um, I talked about it and I said I, I was going to do um, like a part two of that that first wish list that I did. So guys, I believe that um, I will do, I don't know, I will do that second edition. I will do the video. I will do a, like a live video talking about the, my wish list for Miss Universe Nigeria 2024. But this particular video, I will just talk about you know what I think um, about this year's um, contest and what I think they need to change, you know. And um, last year was the first edition of Miss Universe Nigeria pageant. Um, previously, we used to have MBGN, Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria pageant, where uh, we crown our representatives to Miss World, Miss Universe, and Miss Supernational, and other contests like Miss Echoas and the likes. But this particular page, this particular um, um, pageant, has been you know they've secluded it out of the you know the former the previous pageant. So we now have a separate pageant known as Miss Universe Nigeria, apart from the other pageant, the MBGM pageant, where we crown you know about you know pass about three or four crowns but this time around we're having two crowns miss universe nigeria and miss supranational all right so guys it gives room for a lot of other pageant past pageant queens to take you know to you know to come back and you know contest for this for miss universe nigeria so we see a lot of pageant queens that have contested before on that miss universe on that miss world platform miss world nigeria platform and other platforms like miss grand nigeria and um, Miss Earth Nigeria, Miss Global Nigeria, and all that, they're coming back. There's room for them to come back and fight for, you know, Miss Universe Nigeria crown. And also, like I said, the age limit has been removed. So if you are 18 years and above, if you are 18 years and above, you can contest for Miss Universe Nigeria. If you are married, you can contest. If you're single, you can contest. If you have children, children, you can contest. So Miss Universe has removed those barriers so of course it gives room for a lot of women to participate yes so a lot of women to participate in this year's pageant so if you fall under this category and you are desirous of contesting you know in a beauty pageant and because you feel like um you've passed the age range don't worry miss universe nigeria is here for you all right miss universe organization in at a, as a whole is here to accommodate you know uh, women between the ages of 18 and above so even if you are 30 years you're 35 you're 40 you're 50 the the door is open for you to contest all right so guys i don't want to go into the integrity of you know those issues why there's no uh, age restriction all right so that's that has passed but i feel like we're going to be seeing a lot more ladies a lot more um um is good room for a lot more ladies to contest so let's hope and and you know let's hope and keep our fingers crossed that married women in nigeria would contest so if you're a married woman and your husband you know gives you the go ahead to contest for this pageant you're free to contest all right so guys the, the the floor is open the door is open for you to contest all right so go log on to miss universe nigeria website www.miss i'll put it on the screen for you guys i don't want to like you know so i will not make mistakes i'll put the details on the screen for you guys go on to their website and fill in the details and register and uh, if you're lucky because i said if you if um if they, they only get back to shortlisted candidates so for the lucky ones that you know put in their details and you know they are shortlisted good luck to you guys all right so after the whole registration process they will contact the shortlisted candidates and they will call up for the fiscal screening with the after the fiscal screening then the the organizers of the pageant will or the judges this year's judges will pick the final 36 that will contest for the live show all right so guys that's all about mischievous nigeria right also if you have any comment down if you have any comments please comment down below all right so let's get back to the next gist all right so on the next gist we have on this edition of a bunch of pageant gist is miss south africa all right so if you guys have been following miss south africa you know that miss south africa pageant is like one of the keenly contested national pageant apart from miss universe philippines miss universe um 
yeah, in South Africa, they have finally opened the doors for registration. I think that was like last month. And as we speak right now, they've chosen the top 30 for this year's pageant. So guys, we have a top 30 for this year's pageant. And yes, it's, it shows that when I saw the top 30, I was so, so, so surprised. I was so, you know, I was so excited because it shows that South Africa is very diverse. I saw a lot of diverse ladies, enlightened ladies, eloquent ladies, yeah they were just cat walking around uh, cat walking on the wrong way and um i'm so, so so happy for this year's edition and i can't wait to see who this year's miss south africa will be and of course you know you guys know the winner will present the south africa and miss universe in mexico later this year all right so um subsequently i'll be following this their, their journey the miss south africa journey all right on this channel and um i think after the top 30 they will pick the top I think the top 12 or the top 10 or so and those top 10 will be the will, they will go on to the live um show all right the live show so i think in south africa the way they do their own screen they do it in form of a of uh, of they do it they do it in form of a live um audition i think so like um like a live ed ed audition or like a reality show if that's the name i think it's a real more like a reality show they show us the process and how you know they go about they all on the process on how they choose the final 12 or the final 10 as the case may be so i believe that that's what miss universe nigeria should imbibe i don't know how this year's contest is going to be like but i feel like miss south africa is much more um transparent in terms of when they are choosing their final candidates and if you watch the miss south africa you know that they are very 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 transparent in you know in selecting the eventual winner all right you see everything you see it's like the transparency is based on the best like they pick the best irrespective of sentiment like they're not sentimental when they're picking on when they are choosing the the winner okay they are they choose the winner based on merit all right so i believe that miss universe nigeria should imbibe that in this year's contest and um let's see how it goes let's see how it goes guys i'll keep you guys posted on this channel all right so yes a lot of other countries have been their representatives to Miss Universe and um, so far so good. We have a lot of, you know, um, representatives that have been crowned so far. And like I said in a previous video that this year's contest, we're going to see a lot more candidates in Mexico for Miss Universe this year. And let's see how, you know, what is going to happen in Mexico because... <laughs> I can see a lot of strong representative from other countries this year. I won't lie, like seriously, it's going to be a keenly contested pageant in Mexico. All right. So, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to be, you know, coming out here and, you know, um, giving you guys updates on Miss Universe Nigeria, um, how far the contest is going, and if there's any other additional details that will be released on their website and in the on their Instagram pages as well. All right. So this is all I have today for a bunch of pageants. I know it's not much, but I feel like, you know, um, the highlight for me is the fact that Miss Universe Nigeria has opened the doors for registration. So like I said, if you're interested in contesting for this year's pageant, please log on to their website and, you know, um, follow the prompt, fill in your details and they will get back to you if you're shortlisted. All right. So guys, if you're watch up to this point please like share and subscribe to my channel and um i'll see you guys in my next video coming up very very soon take care bye